back like we never left. What is good, everybody? If you are new to the channel, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Weave, and here on my channel, we coach you through three crucial facets of your life. First, on your personal growth and development. Second, we continuously push you towards professional success as you grow in your careers in business and entrepreneurship. Third, we always help you to build, maintain, and nurture long, lasting, and more meaningful relationships. Today, we discuss the importance of overcoming your trust issues. You know how it get down, right? I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it, so let's do that right now. It might be hard for you. Know why? Because it's hard to trust when all you have from your past are reasons why you shouldn't. But the goal is to be able to not feel like you have to look over your shoulder all the time or that you'll feel betrayed by people you have in your life, right? And I mean the basic groundwork for you to be able to build more than just a personal relationship that's face value is to trust somebody, right? But after they have shown you the type of loyalty and respect that they deserve it. But on a deeper level, your trust issues didn't really start here, right? This is just where they currently are. You clearly have been hurt, betrayed, and know what the feeling is like in having someone that's close to you in your life be disloyal to you. And it affects you now. It's kind of like post-traumatic stress disorder and the fact that you just thought of someone that you were going to be able to trust and now you're not even sure if you can trust again. And now someone else letting you down is even more of something that you're not even sure if you can deal with the next time around. So what do you do? You build up walls. Walls that are high enough, strong enough, thick enough, that you block any and everyone who shows the slightest bit of what gives you that same feeling again. But for how long? How long what, we? How long are you gonna keep letting your past dictate how you're going to move forward in your life into the future? Because if the goal is to build more meaningful relationships, both in your love life and your personal relationships, you need a different outlook on how to trust. You need the understanding exactly what trust means to you. Well, what the hell does that mean? It means that your expectations determine and how much trust you have in someone. How so? Well, think about it like this. If your mom, dad, or some other family member or friend took care of you from an early age, do you know what's created inside of you as you get older? An implicit and biased level of trust for them. Know why? Because it's all you've ever known. They've always had your back. They've always been there for you. They have always supported you, loved you through your struggles. But when you place those same level of expectations in a relationship or a friendship, can you see how things might start setting yourself up for disappointment? Real trust takes years to build, but only seconds to break, right? So what kind of expectations are you placing on someone you just met or who has been in your life for a short amount of time? Because as individuals, we are built with an unconscious level of self-serving, right? Like whatever is going to benefit me in the long run is what matters most to me. It's natural to ask, well, how is this going to benefit me, isn't it? Yeah, because you're living for you. And if a decision will positively impact you growing and moving on to do better, in life, more than likely, you're probably gonna choose it. So when a man or woman you were in a relationship with cheated on you, lied, deceived you, or let you down, well, what were your expectations going in? Did they ever truly live up to them in the first place? Did they honestly build up the level of respect, love, dedication, loyalty, and communication that you expect out of those childhood friends and parents? Probably not. So I ask you again, what are your expectations? And you know what? We rarely do sometimes allow things to happen in our lives naturally. We are always in such a rush to get where we want in both life and relationships. We just want things to be something that they are not a lot sooner. We want that friendship, that relationship, marriage, that happiness, that money, that business venture, that new career you wanna be in. And then when it doesn't turn out to be what we had hoped for, we become a victim of our rushed hopes and expectations. Relationships, whether they're personal or love, Love, need an inordinate amount of time to develop naturally, to filter through all the bullshit and become whatever it's supposed to be. And not every single relationship or friendship you have is built to last a lifetime. Some are built to last months or years. But one thing they have in common is they all change and evolve, don't they? As you have kids, as you change careers, as you move to a different city or state, you have to evolve as well, right? So here's the deal. You wanna trust again? You wanna know where you need to to begin by giving yourself permission to trust again. Yes, people are still gonna let you down. Yes, they're still gonna disappoint you. Yes, you'll wonder why you didn't see it coming, but that's human nature. Remember, whatever serves us 
individually, right? So have boundaries, have great communication, have heartfelt conversation, live freely, build relationships. Just be on the lookout for the inconsistencies in behavior, for when they talk bad about other people, when they point out everyone else's fault except for theirs, when they don't accept responsibility and it's everyone else's fault in their entire lives except for theirs. And you know how to trust. More importantly, you know exactly who to trust. You, trust yourself to make the best decisions on who to have in your life and who you can share things with. And always remember something important along your trust journey. When you fully trust someone without any doubt in your mind, you will eventually get to one of two results, a person for life or a lesson for life. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. And if no one has told you this already today, come on now, I appreciate you. If you found some value in this video today, make sure you like, comment, share the video as well. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom and become an official part of the squad. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.